Hey guys, I am back with my new After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to create this new masterpiece, the looping animation in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. We are going to cover a beautiful technique which you can utilize in any other animations and you can also create some incredible animations. So if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel, hit the like button and click on the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main animation as always and width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration we don't want much more durations uh, so I'll make it 0 initially and then I'm going to type 10 because I want 10 second animation or let's say 30 in case if we did some mistakes and for the background color I'm going to choose white color and hit ok so our composition is ready now now go to choose grid and guide option and hit on Titus F action. Now first of all we need to create one plank so I am going to choose my rectangle tool and for the color I am going to choose black color and I don't want any stroke so let's delete the stroke and with the help of this I am going to create something some shape like this. Now select this shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press P for position and let's move this over here. Select this hit enter and let's call this as plank and hit ok sorry hit enter okay uh, and now select this press r for rotation and we will rotate it somewhere around like this let's make this minus 30 so we are gonna get something like this okay now we will select this we will create one keyframe over here let's zoom in and let's go to around one second and let's make this plus 30 so if you see we will get something like this now select those keyframe, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift. I am gonna move this over here and I am gonna move this over here. So we will get something like this. Okay. So now we will create an, uh, what we call ellipse. But before that I think the minus 30 is quite a huge amount. So let's make this minus 25 and let's see. Or let's say minus 22. I think this looks good to me also over here instead of plus 30 let's make this 22 so if you see this we are gonna get something like this okay now we will select our ellipse tool and we will create one ellipse over here like this now select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center let's zoom in press v and we will move this ellipse somewhere around over here like this and now select this hit enter and let's call it as ball and we will select this and we will make it apparent with this plank like this now if you hit play obviously it's gonna move around with the this plank now select this ball press p for position because we have to change the position of it and let's go over here and create one keyframe over here go to around two seconds and if you increase this x value obviously it's gonna go over here like this okay so we will we are gonna get something like this now select those keyframe hit f9 let's go over here go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this over here select this and let's move this over here like this okay so we are gonna get something like this now uh, we need to select this planks we need to hit ctrl d let's bring this plank to over here and let's lock this layer for now now press ctrl r on your keyboard so we will get this kind of rulers and now we have to create one grid for this ellipse like i'll bring one thing over here and one line from here then we will move one line from here also one line from here so as you guys can see now we have successfully created one what we call reference lines for this balls and now we will look at how we can use this properly so now right click new and create one null object so this is gonna be my parenting null object so i'll hit enter and let's call it as parent and hit ok like this now we will press ctrl r again uh, so as you can see with the help of ctrl r we can get these rulers and now this uh, lines are for this ellipse but we want also some reference lines for this plank so for that what we are gonna do we will bring this over here for this reference 
and we will bring this one for this reference like this let's move this or somewhere around over here okay that looks good to me now let's select oh, both the layers not both the layers because the spawn is uh, parent with this plank so we are not gonna get this so let's select this plank and we will make it apparent with this null one i mean this parent press p for position create one keyframe hit enter hit u and now deselect everyone and hit u so we can see the keyframes of each and everyone like this okay now as you can see my ball is over here this is my last frame so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move this null object somewhere around over here like this now after this thing i want my ball should be in the square so for that what we are gonna do after these frames i'll hit page down button two to three times and i'll bring my ball inside this reference lines uh, as it was before in our first frame and now i'm gonna select those keyframe right click as you can see we are getting a little bit difficulty over here so for to get rid of it the keyframe interpolation and instead of auto bj i'm going to choose linear so if you see this we are gonna get something like this so if you see this animation we are gonna get something like this and if you think this uh, quite looks weird so as you can, you can know we have applied one graph thing over here so if you want you can select those and hit f9 so the graph is now gone like this and if you want then you can increase the distance of this one also <coughs> sorry so you'll get something like this okay so at this point as you can see my ball is successfully over here let's move this keyframe over here so if you see this thing now we are gonna get something like this let's select this go to the graph let's select this and i'm gonna move this a little bit over here not too much but a little bit only like this so uh, check out this graph this is a very important thing uh, like this so if you see this animation we are gonna get something like this now at this point this is gonna be my final point or uh, looping uh, point so now what we are gonna do if you guys know that we have created this extra plank so let's unlock this layer now we will select this plank and we will delete all the keyframes which are applied to this plank because we don't want that to animate so so it will stick over there only and as you guys know that this is gonna be my final point and if you see this plank over here we if you guys know that we have created one grid for this plank also and for this one also like this let's move, move this a little bit over here and i'm gonna hit n because this is gonna be my my final looping point over here now uh, what we are gonna do we will hide this plank and this plank so we can see check out whether our what we call this animation is in the form of loop or not or we will get some glitch so as you guys know that uh, we are not get, getting anything glitch over here because the ball animation looks quite uh, in the form of loop so yep our this animation is successfully done so now we will focus on our planks animation so now if you guys know uh, that this plank 2 is not parent with anyone uh, until we will go to the last keyframe and now at this point which means at uh, two point i think six seconds only we, now we need to make this a parent with this parent on null object and now if you see this is coming from here like this okay now we will go to the start as you guys know we have this plank 2 now we will hit ctrl d and we will bring this plank 3 over here i mean downwards and now we will uh, uncheck this uh, parent one and now we will go to the last keyframe like over here and at this point i'm going to make it a parent with this null object which is parent so now if you see over here we'll get something like this but as you guys know that we are getting glitch over here so to get rid of it what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go at the last keyframe and then i'm gonna select this plank as you can see this is my first plank so now i'm gonna hit ctrl d and i'll bring this downwards which is our plank 4 and now i'm going to you know, uncheck this none i mean the parenting option now this is not parent with anyone so let's go to the start like this or let's go over here uh, like this and hit u and now we will delete those keyframe and now we will go to the start and now we are going to make it a parent with this parent like this and now if you hit play 
as you guys know we are gonna get something like this so this is how you can create this kind of looping animations and now we have to follow the same procedure for one extra object over here so i'm gonna create one ellipse over here and with the help of that i'm going to create one ellipse select this press ctrl alt home press v and with the help of arrow down keys i'm going to adjust it over here now uh, we don't need those grids anymore because our looping animation is done properly like this now i'm going to select the shape layer and i think we don't need to name anything for this one you can simply go to the align tab align it uh, horizontally and press p for position and bring this over here like this and now we will make it apparent with this parent and now press ctrl r again and you can bring one ruler for this thing okay now select the shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and we will uncheck this like this and at this point i am going to make it apparent with this pair like this so if you guys can see we are gonna get something like this now at the start as you can see our one thing is over here so i'll select the shape layer i'll hit ctrl d and i'll uncheck this parrot and at last keyframe i am going to make it apparent with this parrot one also if we go to the last as you can see we have one over here so hit ctrl d bring this at the top uh uncheck this parent option go to the start and then make it apparent with this parent so now if you see properly we are gonna get this kind of looping animation now hit ctrl a to select all of them and enable this motion blur so we will get a little bit of motion blur in our animation like this now hit ctrl y to create one solid bg i'll call it as bg only and simply hit ok and let's bring this downwards and let's lock lock this layer so now we are gonna get this kind of looping animation so yep this is how you can create looping animation and you can apply these techniques to various animations with the help of your creativity so that's it for today's video we are gonna see you in my next video So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.